As part of their strategy, the Soviets have seized critical points in northern Norway. Their advance was incredibly rapid, and these critical points were captured within the opening days of the conflict. NATO forces in Norway are now on the back foot and are isolated. They must be resupplied. A small NATO convoy is en route to Narvik, and they must get to the port safely. Without this critical supply, Norway may very well be lost. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to Sea Power, Naval Combat in the Missile Age. In this video, we are going to attempt the Gauntlet mission, which puts us in command of a NATO convoy. We are tasked with escorting these merchant ships all the way to their destination, and of course the Soviets are going to have something to say about that. We have four vessels under our command, one of which is Tisdale here, FFG-27. This is an Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate. We also have Ferris over here, which is a Knox class frigate. Both of these frigates do have helicopters, which we are going to launch for scouting purposes. I am going to launch one off of Ferris now. And you know what? We'll launch one off of Tisdale at the same time. Tisdale does have two helos, and we are just going to utilize the ASW loadout. One thing I also want to do while we're at it is stream the Toad Array. Let's deploy it below the layer, check for submarines down there. Now we have a very long trip to make way over here. And that's our final destination. At least one freighter has to make it into this red circle. And I have a feeling that is much easier said than done. The two merchant ships under our command are nice and slow. They're already making 17 knots here. We have President Van Buren. And then we also have this Danish vessel off to the left. Our sea sprites are airborne. I'm ordering one to just fly out behind the convoy and drop a sonoboy back there just to make sure there isn't a submarine lurking back and tracking us. We are going to have another one move out over this way, drop a sonoboy in front of the formation, and then proceed on, dropping more along the way there. Just want to kind of clear an area all the way to the you know, end point here. Make sure no subs are around. We are going to hold off on utilizing our radar from our helicopters until they are a little bit further away from the formation. Well, good news here. We've dropped two Sono Boys and have not picked up anything. Our sea sprite is going to continue to run out this way. I want him to drop down to 20 feet while the travels though just to lay nice and low and we'll string out the mad so if we get really lucky and pick something up with mad there is that as well our sono buoys over here aren't picking anything up which is very good news the convoy is going to continue at its current speed and course for the time being Bad news, bad news. We just saw contacts racing in towards the formation. Flip on our air search radar for one brief second. Air search on. Radar contacts, 3,000 feet moving in, 604 knots. Get ready to engage. Okay, this sea sprite's about to fly right past them. Air search off. Secure it for one second. We have two more contacts closing in. Air search on. Standard missiles. And they're coming right at us. Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Yep, MiG 23s. Fire another one. Sea Sprite, turn around. Drop down. Ferris is engaging. Rim 7, engage. There we go. Missile away. We have a standard missile heading towards the lead MiG-23. Come on. Got him. Splash one. 
Another Rem 7 is being fired. An AS7 is inbound towards Ferris. Chaff, chaff, chaff. Get ready. Come on. Okay, shit. We've been hit right off the bat. Damage control. Not that bad, actually. Okay. Fight those fires. More MiGs inbound. Tisdale. SM1s begin engaging. There we go. One away. Can you engage the second target as well? Two seconds. Okay. Missiles loaded up. Missile away. There we go. Ferris. Oh, jeez. Of course, we immediately get hit. Okay. Two SM1s inbound, heading towards those MiG-23s. Come on. Don't let them get close this time. Got them. Impact on one. Another one inbound. He's dropping flare and chaff. Got him. There we go. See you later. It is history. Wow, I love that. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, radar off. Radar off. Ferris. Slow down. All ahead one third. Secondaries all over the place. Damage control. Man, things are starting to look a little worse here. Damage control team has sprung into action. Once you are hit with a missile, the damage control team takes some time to uh, regroup and start fighting the damage. They're hopping around, unfortunately. Jeez, the fire's just spreading like crazy. Hopefully the ship can be saved. What an absolute travesty. I mean, she was hit right there. Hull damage is moderate. Damage control teams working. We have serious fires all throughout the ship. Turn to course. Zero, all right. Five, four, Not good. Five. Not good at all. At least, well, none of our sea sprites were shot down. About to drop another sono buoy way up here. Oh man. I'm hopeful, but oh man, those fires just spread throughout the ship incredibly quickly. A lot of components are being completely taken offline. So even if she does survive this and doesn't burn down, which I mean, is not looking likely at this point, she is not going to be very combat effective. Great. First Soviet strike and they managed to take out one of our vessels. Not good, not a good start. I'm gonna have my Hilo out here switch on at surface search radar for a second. Wow, it hasn't picked anything up. Fascinating. Very good to know, actually. Ferris still not looking great. Continuing to fight the fires. We got flooding building throughout the ship. Flooding is now moderate. And it looks like she is going down bow first at this point. There's no flooding in the stern, which is good. Ugh. Oh, that did it. She's sinking. There goes Ferris. It's been some time now since the Reds have attacked. I am going to flip on air search for a second. If we can pick anything up. Nothing. Okay, secure it. Okay, good to know. We are going to flip this on every once in a while. Just to check. I also want another sea sprite up in the air now asw loadout launch it i want it near the convoy to hopefully spot any incoming aircraft before they get too close Roger, 
Both of these Sea Sprites, well, one of them, both of them now have their surface search radars on. Let's have one of them pop up to 3,000 feet with its surface search radar and see if it can pick anything up way out here. That could prove to be useful. Stealth really is the name of the game here. I'm still just upset that Ferris got hit with one missile and went down. That's just my luck. We're blasting those MiG-23s out of the sky pretty darn quickly, too. All right, coming up. Passing a 1,000 feet, still nothing on radar. Passing 1,300. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any surface contacts. Let's drop a sono buoy up here while we're at it. Just to check for submarines. I feel like this is the perfect trap for diesel electric submarines to attack our convoy. We just dropped a sono buoy near the convoy and we got something. Wake homing torpedo inbound. Break formation, all ahead flank. Here we go. All ahead flank, turn, turn, turn. Tisdale. All ahead flank, start moving. Okay, Sea Sprite, come over here. You're gonna blow this submarine out of the water. Just a single torpedo, closing in four nautical miles away. Come on. Van Buren. Formation, let's disband the formation. Please turn as quickly as you can. Oh gosh, if, where there's one way calming torpedo, there's almost certainly more. 65, 76. Just one torpedo, hmm. No, there's two. There's two, at least. Well, we have a general idea of where they're at. Let's get their track. I knew, I knew I should have been dropping more sono buoys out and about here. Let's have our sea sprite. Drop another sono buoy right over there. Van Buren's turning hard over. Good news is we have a relatively early warning. Relatively, I, I should say. Tisdale's getting out of the way. We could stream out our toad decoy. I'm not going to do that just yet. I also have Tisdale's air search and surface search radar secure all that. Turn over here, all ahead flank. Better be going as fast as you can go if you want to live. We have sea sprites way over here. I'm going to recall them. Let's have them come back a little bit. Find this sub. We are incredibly lucky. Again, we spotted, we heard this torpedo way out here. Another Wakehomer has been fired. Or detected at the very least. Okay, how far? Here's the track. Which is good. Our last ship in the line. Already 2.9 nautical miles away. That's not too shabby. Turn not too shabby at all. Sea Sprite's about to drop another one. I bet this was a launch because that's coming right our way. That's going to be pretty darn hard to evade. The torpedo fired and turned. Ruler. Let's look at its track here. Something like this. Okay, got it. A whole bunch of stuff over here. There we go. There's that sub. Two torpedoes in the water. Come over here. Investigate that. Okay. All right. Turn away. Turn away. That's like our only course of action at this point. And that's fine by me. Sea Sprite. Drop a sono buoy right on that son of a bitch. Now, one course of action we could do is kill our engines and just wait it out. Let's see, what is this torpedo's exact course? 215 degrees. Let's mark this here, 215. So, it's heading like here. Maybe killing our engines may actually be a good idea. Okay, let's do it. I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. I'll stop, don't make a wake, don't make a sound. I'll stop. All these ships are going to come to a stop. And 
and we're going to cross our freaking fingers. Okay, Sea Sprite's almost here. If anything, I could have Ferris, or Tisdale, excuse me, run down. But I think we have enough distance between us and these torpedoes. There we go. Got him, hostile. Do not do that. Two torpedoes right on him. Let's engage him. We know it's a hostile sub. Info, what kind of sub? Alpha or a victor? Okay. Alright, we should swing him back around. And drop our Mark 46 torpedoes right in front of the contact. Should be dropping two torpedoes as well. Should be more than enough to kill him. There we go, one away, at least. I want a second one dropped on him. Torpedoes running. Heading towards the contact, hopefully. There we go, got him, got him, got him. It's dropping down. How deep is he? 290 feet. We don't have a good idea of where the contact is, but our torpedo is going right down towards him. Come on. Got him. There we go. Hit him. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Brutal. Drop down. Do a mad run. Pinpoint him. Let's see how far are these wake homers. They're still way, way out here. Which is good. Our ships are stopped. Not producing a wake. That's what I like to see. Okay. Mad run. We got him. Drop a torpedo right on him. Target speed is zero. It's trying to pop up. It's at 290 some odd feet and a rising. Let's drop another torpedo. And while I'm thinking about it, I want Son of Buoys dropped right here. And another one just right there, please. I'm wondering if it's even worth dropping another torpedo, but I, I want to kill him. I want to make sure the submarine is completely destroyed. And I can have the Sea Sprite RTB. There we go. Torpedo away. Okay, Mark 46 has splashed down. Sea Sprite. Roger, RTB. RTB. Get out of here. Those makers are being deployed. Hopefully that does not throw off our Mark 46 torpedo. No idea where the sub's at. It looks like she's dropping back down. It's possible the damage has been repaired. Mark 46 running hot straight and normal. It looks like it's got something for sure. Got him. Two torpedoes into him. New passive track. Okay, noisemaker. Good. Now we just need to wait out these wake homing torpedoes. Contact's fading. Good to know. We just gotta sit tight here, boys, and hope those wake homers run out of fuel and just or just go right on past. So no buoys are being dropped up here, not picking anything up, which is good. Gotta keep doing scans for subs. Well, we have good news and bad news. These Wakehomer torpedoes seem to be going right past us. This group is a little bit closer than projected, which is concerning. They still should run right along. We're not making, no, no, do not. Okay, we're okay. I do not want to accidentally order a ship to start moving around because that will doom us. <laughs> that will absolutely doom us. We want to avoid doing that. I want this sea sprite. Come over here. Make sure you're returning to base there. Good. And there we go. The sub's going down. It's sinking. We're picking up, breaking up noises over here. And she is on the bottom. I was sending this sea sprite over to do a mad run over the target. No need to do that. Now you can just... Uh, we'll give you a patrol pattern like this. Now, as it stands at the moment, helicopters and sea power do not have uh, fuel limits, which is kind of nice. 
Okay, this one's this guy is heading back home. Good. I rearm. We can see the uh, the lights light up on the frigate, which is something I haven't really even shown off because we haven't done very many nighttime operations in sea power. But the helo will come up, and are these torpedo? Yeah, they're still running. Are they running out of juice? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Just losing contact on them. I should have dropped another sono buoy with this helo. That's okay. Just cross our fingers. Nothing we can really do. Good news, those torpedoes have run out of fuel. These ones really close to our freighter, that means these are almost out of fuel as well. Perfect. Well, that's really good to know. We will wait for these to completely run out. Let's drop a Sono buoy right there. Actually, why not just one real nice and close here. And then we'll get on the move once again, once these have run out of fuel and the threat is gone. The torpedoes are gone, and we are getting this convoy on the move once again. We have a radar contact, meager, 15 nautical miles away. Yeah, go VID that. Let's take a look at the convoy here. What's the range of our harpoons? They're almost in range, whatever the heck this is, if it is a hostile contact. Looks to be a surface vessel. This is our first radar contact in a long time since we saw those MiGs. Let's check. Yeah, it's moving at 23 knots. It might be a little missile boat or something. The good news is they probably don't know exactly where our formation is at this point in time. So that's, uh, that's quite nice. Moving to VID, it's so freaking dark. Uh, we're going to have to get pretty darn close. Contact is 13 nautical miles away still. Convoy still just chugging along at 17 knots. We're making good progress. We're almost there. We are getting there. I wonder how many more threats are going to pop up. I want this, this sea sprite still doing mad runs over here. Let's quickly drop a sono buoy right here. If there are multiple boats moving at 23 knots, we should be able to hear them. The fact that this boat here is moving so quickly makes me think it's probably a warship. I suppose it could also be a fishing boat, just, you know, really moving to get into uh, a position to catch some fish, but I kind of doubt it. I'm not going to take any chances, though. Once we know this is hostile, I'm blasting and harpoon their way. Okay. Reducing speed to drop a sono buoy. There we go. All right, go back over here and VID this thing. Okay, sono buoy has just splashed down. Still a radar contact, not actually hearing it. That's kind of surprising, honestly. Very surprising. How far away? Nine nautical miles. I'm afraid my sea spray is just going to get blasted out of the sky. This little boat is now six nautical miles away. Use some time compression here. Do not get shot down. Four nautical miles out. Radar echo is meager. Shut off your radar. Turn it off. Continue to close. Try to spot it. Hopefully we can see 
this contact before they see us three nautical miles away. Let's check uh, harpoon range. Let's quickly check that. Almost in range there. All ahead full. Let me check the formation here. Let's edit this formation. Formation top speed is 18 knots, so we'll maintain 17 actually. We still don't see them two nautical miles away. Concerning. Incredibly concerning. I bet it is just a small little uh, missile boat then. Visual contact, visual contact. We still have to ID it though. Aha, aha, get out of here. Turn, turn, turn. It is a missile boat. We've been fired at, we've been fired at. Drop down, fire control radar is looking at us. All right, hit the deck, get out of here. There she is. Just one. I want the sea sprite to come around to the north and take a look. Oh shit. Oh no. Wiggle around. We're being fired upon. Ah, oh, we've lost one. Okay. Harpoon. Cannot fire just yet. It's good to know they are out here though. Mark that position. This sea sprite, what's your current altitude come up? 3,000 feet. Radar's on, try to pick them up. Once we're in range, we will fire a harpoon at that target. We just did a quick radar scan here. Let's turn it back on, surface search on. There we go, radar contact, seven nautical miles away from our sea sprite. Let's fire a harpoon, shall we? Send it, engage that track, one harpoon. Not picking up any radar emissions, so they'll have to spot the harpoon heading straight for them. And that should be engaging here. There we go. Fantastic. All right, one away, heading towards that target. Sea Sprite, shut off your radar. And we'll see if we get a hit here. Yeah, this contact's not emitting. That's gonna be a while before our harpoon to actually reach the target. Let's have our Sea Sprite head over this way. Is it, it's only picking up a single missile boat. So head over back here. We'll flip on our radar again, and see if we can pick up another. Our harpoon should be closing in on the target and hopefully acquiring any moment now. It is not very far away from the last known position there, about seven nautical miles out. Come on. Again, I don't, not picking up any radar. Once their radars flip on, I think our sea sprite should be able to pick up those emissions. And plus it's dark, they're not going to see this harpoon coming which is kind of perfect. There we go, they see it now. I'm trying to shoot it down. Come on, get through. Get through. Interceptors just whiffed. Okay, it's popping up, come on. Dropping down. On target, there we go. Got him. Swing back over there. Go investigate. That contact, I don't think it's going to survive that, that's for sure. They got a helicopter, so we retaliated and took them out. Yep, I can see a burning wreck way, way out there. Okay, good news. Radar contact sinking. That's what I like. Turn on our surface search. Go scout up here, see what's going on. And we will continue moving to the area. We went all the way up north here and we picked up another radar contact moving 23 a knot. I bet this is another missile boat. 
There's no doubt about it in my mind. Can our harpoon? Our harpoon still has a long way to go before we can fire at it. That is good info to know. We are going to mark this position and we will blast it once we get in range. I want to have my sea sprite turn away though. No need to risk another sea sprite at this point. We'll continue scanning the area, the fjord leading into here. For any submarines, I'm still worried about more of them out here. We have a brand new radar contact, and I think it's that one missile boat. Unfortunately for it, I think it did run aground, but that's not going to stop us from trying to shoot it. Let's fire a harpoon at it. Okay, they are engaging with the Mark 13 launcher. See, the harpoon is loaded up. Let's watch this OHP fire off one more harpoon. There we go. Harpoon is away heading towards the target. It's going to be pretty hard to hit if it has run aground. Regardless, we should be able to make it to this area. We haven't picked up any more submarines or anything. Things have been going really smoothly. This was quite a fun mission, all things considered. I had quite a bit of fun running this gauntlet indeed. I still do regret how uh, Ferris went out, but... That's okay, we have traveled a good distance here with different threats along the way. Uh, quite cool mission. We're gonna watch and see if this harpoon actually manages to hit anything. We'll see, it may just slam into the ground, which is fine as well. Regardless, I think we'll be able to accomplish the objective here. The harpoon is five nautical miles away from its target. And you know, this target may just be docked. The crew may be sleeping or something and their little missile boat's about to get blown away hopefully this is indeed a missile boat and uh not a fishing boat <laughs> that's going to have a very rude awakening hey look at the little town over there the little norwegian town pretty darn cool okay the harpoon's popping up it's got whatever it is oh beautiful got him oh gosh oh okay mission complete uh, okay, well done, Commander. Enemy forces are destroyed and the path to Narvik is opened. You know, I saw this pop up and my first thought was, you know, civilian casualty. But I, I'm glad, uh, glad it paid off. It was indeed a missile boat just pulled up along the shore here. Okay, the path to Narvik is clear. We are inbound now. And there we go. That's the after action report there. All enemies destroyed. We did lose Ferris and we did lose one SH2F, unfortunately. But overall, not too shabby. Definitely a very fun mission. Well, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.